like sooner. Hey, Austin, good to see you. Um, given, given your history with New York and what happened earlier this year, how sweet was tonight for you? Um, yeah, tonight was, <laughs> I see you smiling already, look at you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, tonight felt good, man. Tonight was a good one. Tonight was a good one, man. Uh, it, was, it was more special just because of how we played, man. I mean, we dominated the whole game. You know I mean? We dominated on both ends of the floor. Um, it, was, it was almost as if the whole team took it personal, you know what I mean? And, and, and that was a good feeling to have, you know, I feel like they had my back and, um, you know, it was a good one. Sean Keeler. Hey, Austin, Michael uh, mentioned that uh, you had talked to him about your experiences in New York and obviously your teammates knew about that. Did you give the, uh, William Wallace Braveheart pregame speech about let's let's go out there and have that energy because I know you talked about regaining that energy as a team during the post game. Uh yeah, I mean I wasn't like trying to give a speech or anything, but the whole throughout the game I was obviously I was amped up and I had a lot of energy in this and um, as as all players do, man, when, when when you play against your former team, you know that's just how it goes. Um, and honestly, for me, it wasn't even. I know people might not believe this, but I said this to my teammates before the game. Um, I was like, this is even about the, the, the Knicks. This is about us and, and us bouncing back after a tough loss. Uh, for me, finding, obviously, being off two months, uh, I now, like, coming in this game, I told my team that I feel in shape. I have my legs back. I know every play now. I know how guys play. Obviously, I'm still building, but, like, this is the first time I went into a game, like, really feeling good um, about myself. And it just so happened also to be, obviously, my former team. So it was just kind of like – Everything was there tonight. Um, so, uh, but it wouldn't matter who we played tonight. I was, I was coming out with that aggression and that energy. But yeah, it, it made it. It always feels good to to do stuff like that and, and, and win a game like this. Brandon Crystal, Austin, I got uh, two for you. The first, does this feel like a, a precursor to more games like this? Multiple, you know, big three point nights and just getting more comfortable with your teammates and in this offense. You know, I just think, you know, like any player, it, it takes time. I don't know what people expected. You know, I, I, uh, I hadn't been in a game in over over two and a half months. Um, I, you know, I haven't played. You know, I, even though I worked out, you just can't simulate stuff. And obviously, this isn't like this is a bad team I signed to. This is like a top tier team in the NBA. So, like, I'm trying to come in and not step on toes and, 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 and try to figure out stuff. And kind of like you kind of go out there and you just don't want to mess up. That's kind of like what you do on a team like this. And then – after you play, you know, five or six games like I have, you start to realize, OK, all right, these are things they do. These are things they don't do. And then you finally find yourself and then you realize just go be yourself. Um, just go be aggressive. Coach tells me that every game, go be aggressive, go be aggressive. And, it, you know, it's taken some time. But obviously now you know, I, I feel very comfortable here and uh, I just got to keep building. Just got to keep building. And no matter if shots are going in or not, I know over time I'm going to make I'm going to make my shots just like I did tonight. Um, and uh but my energy and my, my focus and my impact has to be there every day. So, uh, especially with all the guys we have down. Mark Kisla. Hey, Austin. Uh, you've done a lot of good stuff in this league. You, you've earned your respect. But you mentioned a couple of times you, you hadn't played a game in two months. Talk to me a little bit about uh, the trust that Coach Malone and your teammates have put in you or from the jump here. I can't really describe that for what it means uh, to me personally, because um, it's just beyond something I could describe. Honestly, I don't want to feel like getting emotional right now, but uh, yeah, man, that, I mean, this, it, this has uh, been a lifesaver and changer for me coming here. I've never experienced a team and organization like this. Uh, it's so about we instead of me. Um, and I mean, even from the beginning, like after my first four or five games here, obviously like, they're telling me I'm playing well. I feel like I'm playing well, but I'm not shooting well at all. So I'm just like, man, I know I could do more, but they're like still telling me, you know, be aggressive, do this, do this, do this, do this. He's like, we need you to be yourself. Shoot your step back, shoot this shot. Shoot this. I'm just like, man, I'm trying to, you know, it was, it was a lot. And it, I've never had that before, uh, that type of confidence uh, from my teammates or, or, or my coaches. Um, when they do that with everybody here, you know, that's why Michael, he, who, you know, plays the way he plays and Jokic and all these guys, they just build everybody up here. So, I just feel kind of lucky, honestly. I'm just lucky to be here and thankful to be here. And I just don't take this shit for granted, man. Every game I go out there, I play hard as hell. Um, when you get something taken away from you, 
and you sitting at home for a month or two and you watching guys on TV, it changes you um, in, in, a, in, a, in a lot of ways. So, um, yeah. Harrison Wind. Hey, Austin, uh, Nicole is 24 point first quarter tonight. Um, what was your impression of that just f from your vantage point and what have been kind of your, your thoughts about playing with him these first several games? He's an animal. He's an animal. He's an animal. I mean, he's obviously, you know, Joel Embiid is up there in the MVP and LeBron and all these guys. But, you know, I've seen Jokic obviously for a short time here and I see why his name's also in that group too, because he is, uh, he's so patient. He controls the game. He's so dominant. Uh, he finishes his touch. He has guard skills at that size. You just don't see that ever. Um, and again, he's unselfish. So uh, it starts at the top with him, coach, and then trickles down and, uh, it's been it's been fun to watch and be a part of. Stefan. Hey, Austin, um, MPJ was saying that um, you talked to him about how difficult it was for you in New York. and You were motivated to go out there aggressive to get those dudes back. What what bothered you about how it went down in New York? It don't even matter anymore. You know, I don't know. Uh, I don't even want to get into that. I don't have any negativity towards the Knicks, man. Like, I, let's just be clear. Like, I'm actually very close to a lot of those guys on that team. Obviously, things happen, and they happen. I don't want to bring anything like that to light. You know what I mean? They're doing so well right now. Uh, Knicks fans are extremely happy and excited about that, as they should be. They've been down for so long. Julius is, should be most improved player in, in the NBA this year, and he should be on one of the all-NBA teams. Uh, you know, Tibbs should be a, a candidate for coach of the year. Um, I, I really am happy for them. So I have nothing against them, but, you know, sometimes things just don't work out. And, uh, yeah, you know, that, that obviously, I don't, yeah, that's all I can say, man. I, I don't want to get into that just because I have a lot I could say I don't have enough time right now. You know what I mean? Um, but things happen. If, if it wouldn't have happened, I, I wouldn't be here. I, I wouldn't be here on this team. So everything comes back around, and I wish nothing but positivity to that team and that organization. We'll go back to Brandon Cristal. Yeah, my second question uh, was about something MPJ said that he's been looking up to you since he was a kid and that you had one of the coldest mixtapes out there. I imagine you consider yourself a little younger than maybe you are with nine years in. Yeah. Do you remember a point at, at when it went from you were telling guys you like, you looked up to them to, to it switched and guys are coming up to you? Yeah, that, that didn't happen, honestly, till I was in New York, uh, like quickly and all these young guys, I came in and they're like, yo, bro, you know, you know I've never, you know, I've always been the young guy on the team. I, I was always the, the dude who played with the older stars and I was just looking up to them. So obviously, no, I'm, I'm no superstar or anything like that, but you know, I've, they don't mean, you know, at the end of the day, I, I know who I am and, and what I can do on the floor. And um, to have guys validate you in that way, it, there's nothing like peer, uh, uh, peer love. I say peers in my peers, you know, to get love from guys who are also the best players in basketball. Um, it's always the best love you can get. And um you know, I, I'm the biggest fan of Michael. Obviously, y'all hear me talk about him all the time. He's so cold uh, and he's growing. So um, it's it's been great to, to play with him and, and, and play with all these guys and talent they have here. All right, Austin, we got time for one more. We're going to end with Mike Singer. Hey, Austin, you talk about feeling lucky uh, for this opportunity. Like, have you wrapped your head around the opportunity that you have moving forward, given all these injuries and, and the platform that you may well have going into the playoffs? Uh, nah, I just take it day by day. Um, you know, I know we got Monte coming back and, and um, Will coming back. For me, I, I just told Coach, no matter where they play me, when they play me, start, don't start, here, there, like every minute I'm in there, I'm just going to be playing hard as hell. You know what I mean? And when I'm not in there, you know, listen, we could go back and forth about things in the past, but like one thing I've learned is like positive energy defeats everything. You know what I mean? And it's so much, it's so much easier to live life happier. It's so much easier to live life positive instead of worrying about yourself and being involved in yourself. And I, as a player, I'll be honest, like in the past, like all of us do, you want to do well, you want to, you want to be this, you want to be that guy. I was that guy in high school. I wanted to be an all-star. I still feel like I'm good enough to be that, but like, that's not my role here. You know what I mean? My role here is to, be aggressive. And obviously I can have big nights like tonight. I'm going to have many more. I plan on having many more, but we got a MVP here. You know what I mean? And so you, you support that guy and we got Michael who's upcoming and you support that guy. So I go in there and I, I do my thing and I play hard, but 
you know, whether I play or whatever platform I'm on or if I'm in the game, not in the game, like I'm nothing but positive energy, man. That's all I'm trying to bring to this team every game. Um, I, like I said, when you're not playing for two months and you, something's taken from you, you, you it, it changed me. And I had to look in the mirror and say, OK, well, there's things I still have to change. It's not all New York's fault or this fault or this fault. Like I have to do better. So um, I'm working on that every day. All right. That'll do it. Thank you, Austin. All right, thank you. All.